What's up guys and welcome back to another wild crazy day in the world of crypto. Now in today's video I want to talk about whether or not it's time to start buying or researching, looking into metaverse coins and specifically MANA or Decentraland. Now in the position we're in in the market currently we are seeing quite a huge pullback as a whole in the world of metaverse and blockchain gaming. So if you believe in this aspect of crypto this could potentially be the most perfect time to start getting involved. Now remember that nothing in this video is financial advice because hey, I'm just a guy standing in his room talking about different ways to make money online. So please remember this is all based on my opinion and without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight onto coin market cap. And as you can see here, overall the metaverse space is down 6% on the day. Now we are seeing an almost 50% pullback in mana overall since the all-time high. So if we just open up the central land here, we can see the all-time high was sitting at around $5.80. Today, we sit at $3.16. So close to a 50% move downwards. Now, what we want to talk about today is a bull case for mana, a bear case for mana, and of course, my opinion on where I think we're going. So if we do jump over to Bitcoin just quickly, you can see that we are in a correction in the market right here. In my opinion, we are in a longer term bull trend if we do not break this $42,000 mark. But as we speak right now, we are in a correction. So the short term market is looking very, very uneasy, right? We don't really know exactly where we're going to go. In the Green and Fear Index, you can see today we are at a 25, so extreme fear. Now, according to history, every time we are in extreme fear, it has proved an awesome buying opportunity, but that doesn't dictate exactly where we're going to go next because things may change. But if we look at history, it has been a perfect buying opportunity to be buying in extreme fear. Now, I say this a lot on the channel, but when you go against the herd, you go against what the majority of people are thinking. So when the majority of people are euphoric, normally they're wrong. When the majority of people are scared, again, normally they're wrong. You can see on the Bitcoin chart, most people are euphoric here, wrong. You can see on the chart here, most people are bearish and scared here, again, wrong. So those are the things you have to keep in your mind before you get involved in sort of any cryptocurrency. That's just my opinion anyway. Now moving over to specifically Decentraland. If you don't know what Decentraland is, it's basically a project like Ready Player One. If you haven't seen the film, that is a world, a metaverse that you go into, you live, you interact with friends, you can work there, you can trade there, you can play games there. All of the stuff that you can do in the real world. The idea is to do that here on Mana or Decentraland. And this is actually very exciting. I think that this is going to be a huge part of our life in the future. I really genuinely think that Metaverse is here to stay. But will it be Decentraland? Will it be Sandbox? Will it be any of these other Metaverse cryptos? That's what we don't know right now. But because there's so much to do here and Mana has one of those first mover advantages, I think they have a very good opportunity here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through what I would consider the bull case and the bear case. Now we can compare MANA to something like Facebook, right? Currently Facebook is sitting at a $928 billion market cap. MANA is sitting at a $6 billion dollar market cap. That's over a 100x in growth that Decentraland could do to catch up with something like Facebook. Now the reason why I compare it to something like Facebook is because Facebook is used globally by so many people. Actually the monthly users right now for Facebook are topping 2.89 billion. So if Decentraland can capture that sort of attention from the market, I would think that it's possible for this to have a market cap close to something like Facebook. Now, it would have to be taking users from Facebook, which could be possible considering they offer so much more. But as we know, Facebook has actually recently rebanded itself to Meta. So they may very well be able to take their current user base and create something completely similar to this, if not better than this in a smaller amount of time. So that's the worry here, right? They might have a first mover advantage coming from the cryptocurrency side, but a company like Facebook has the money behind them, the backing behind them to actually create something much faster and actually give it to their current user base, which is billions on monthly users. And if we do compare that right now to MANA, you can see that right now they only have 300,000 monthly users. But 
This being the bull case scenario means that if they actually can pull this off and a lot of people from around the world want to come into this game, they have huge, I mean huge upside potential here. 10xing on their monthly users is definitely something that's possible in the short term if they can pull off all the different things that they want to do. Even right now, we are seeing $106 million of virtual land being sold in the last week. Now, this wasn't only on Decentraland, this is also including Sandbox and a number of other platforms, but this is growing exponentially. On Mana, you can actually buy yourself land within their metaverse. You can do this on a number of other coins as well. So what you have to do for these sorts of projects is go in and do you genuinely believe that they have the ability to take on something like Facebook? If yes, this today, right now, is a perfect time to start your research, if not dollar cost averaging into the projects in, within the metaverse that you personally believe in, right? The reason why I say dollar cost averaging is because I would never dump all of my money into a project, into any project really, but specifically into a project that already has a 5.7 billion dollar market cap. We don't know what's going to happen next coming for the metaverse coins or Decentraland themselves, but at a near to 50% decline, these are the kind of opportunities that we want to find in the market. We don't want to be buying when we're at all time highs. We want to be buying on these pullbacks. Now these pullbacks can be more and that leads me into my bearish case for Decentraland and metaverse coins in general. So I like to refer to ADA as an option that we can look at. They had a massive run up back in 2018. They saw an all time high of $1 and around 39 cents. And that is actually higher than where we are today. So what I wanted to talk about here, not because Cardano has anything to do with the metaverse right now, but because I just wanted to look at a massively hyped project. This is what happens with massively hyped projects, right? So if you had have bought it up here, you would have been in profit just like we saw here on the Decentraland pump. You would have been in profit. And then for the next, let's say one to here, what's that? 1,141 days. So around three years, you would have stayed in a massive loss. And by massive loss, we're talking from the all time high to the low around 98.29%, 98.29%. So those are the things that you have to ask yourself. A massive project like Cardano can come down. It's possible to come down 98%. So if you got into Decentraland today, right now, you put in X amount of money, can you hold for three more years? And do you have the power do you have the emotional discipline within yourself to either just hold or dollar cost average as we go through what could potentially be the start of a bear market, which we could be going into right now? That's definitely a possibility. I don't personally think that's going to happen, but that is a possibility. Now, with that said, if you were to have bought uh, Cardano here at the very top and you then dollar cost averaged a small amount once per month for the next three years. When we hit that all time high again, three years later, you would have been massively, and I say massively in the profit at that point. So that's what you have to consider. So overall, my opinion of Decentraland is if you believe in it for the long run, you potentially have an opportunity right now. This could be one of the biggest projects on earth, but also it could crash 98%. Those are the decisions that you need to make. You need to not just follow what people say over here on YouTube because nobody knows what's going to come next. That's why I always stress the importance of doing your own research and making a decision within yourself because that way, if it crashes 98%, you've already made the decision, right, I believe in Decentraland. I'm just going to dollar cost average into the project. Now with me, where I'm sitting right now, if I saw mana come down to around the $1.50 mark, maybe even the $2. This is where I would personally start dollar cost averaging into the project because I feel like that would be a max fear point for this. As we speak right now, we are still up significantly from this uh, accumulation phase that we saw at around the 70 cents range. You can see up here, we are still much, much higher than that, about 4x from there. So I don't think we're at max pain yet. So I would personally be waiting for a massive reduction in price. The reason this is, is because within the world of metaverse gaming, we have a lot of opportunities here that are at a much smaller market cap. At a billion dollar plus market cap, it gives us a lower chance of hitting those huge, huge 10x 
10x, 20x, 30x, 50x gains that we could see at the lower down market caps. Now do keep in mind when you invest in smaller market caps, the risk is much, much higher. So the risk is way higher, but the reward could also be way higher. The way I structure my portfolio is I have around 70% in my high conviction plays. These are medium risk, medium reward, and then about 20 to 30% allocated to my high risk, high reward plays. In my mind, if I pick, let's say 10 high risk, high reward plays and only one of them works out, the rest crash to zero, that will give me huge returns, even if just one does a 10, 20, 30, 100x. That's the way I play it. And of course, I also take profits when people are greedy and I stake those on stable coin staking platforms like BlockFi and a number of different platforms. You can see all of the links down there in the description. So with that said, hopefully I did provide you with some value today, a little insight as to how I look at these larger cap projects. If you did like the video, do let me know down in the comment section what you think will happen with Mana and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!